Ensure a gluten-free lab. Swap test with Rida Quick Gliadin. A clean lab is a prerequisite for a reliable gluten analysis of food. The immunochromatographic dipsticks contained in the test kit Rida Quick Gliadin are single packaged. The dipsticks are easy to use and ideal to swap surfaces. Before starting with food analysis, make sure that the surfaces and the equipment used are clean. Use 60% ethanol or isopropanol to wipe surfaces and to rinse vessels. Cereals like wheat, rye and barley are very common and the cereal dust can contaminate equipment and surfaces easily. Therefore, it is important to avoid this cause contamination. Thoroughly clean spatulas and bottles, including lids with ethanol. To verify if the cleaning is sufficient, carry out a swap test directly with the dipstick. The lower end of the dipstick has a cotton pad which is used for swabbing the surface. Swap the surface while rotating the swap head in a crosshatch or zigzag pattern. Carefully swap the inside of the mixer. Pipette 0.5 ml of buffer to the vials. Place the dipsticks vertically with the arrow end into the tube. Incubate the dipsticks for 5 minutes. Take out the strip exactly after 5 minutes and read the result immediately. The first dipstick is the swap from the lab bench. Only the blue control band is visible. This result is clearly negative. The second dipstick is the swap from the lid of the mixer. It showed the blue control band and the red test band. The result is positive. So the lid is contaminated and needs additional cleaning. The third dipstick is an unused dipstick to check whether the buffer is clean. The result is negative, so we can use the buffer for further analysis. Final message. Airborne contamination with cereal dust is one of the major problems for gluten analysis. Even if the lab looks clean, it is necessary to clean with 60% ethanol. Carry out the swap test and the buffer test before starting your food analysis. Now you have learned the basics on lab hygiene and swabbing. In the next videos you will see how the samples are extracted and analyzed either with dipstick or ELISA. Thank you for your time.